In this video, we will cover testing SP-initiated SSL flow. Testing a service provider-initiated flow can be tricky because every provider has their own methods for initiating the process. Look for key phrases like login using X or sign up with Y. With a service provider, there are a few ways to initiate a connection. You can create a custom button on your show screen set call. This button will include some key information, like the fact that it's a SAML connection. It will include the identity provider name, and you can also pass in custom button images so that everything looks great. You can also make a call to the Social Login JavaScript SDK with the provider SAML dash and then the identity provider's name. Last, you can redirect the user to the account.sociallogin REST endpoint. Know that redirecting the user to the REST endpoint also requires some extra parameters, so you want to look at the documentation for that before you try to use it. Now let's pick up where we left off on the test site and see an SP-initiated sign-on. As you can see, I've added a custom button for the external identity provider, SAML Tutorials. By clicking this button, I initiate a service provider-initiated flow. Now it opens up the Identity Provider login. I can log in with Facebook just as before. Again, I get redirected around, but the end result is the same. I'm logged in. I can log out and it has brought over some key information. So that covers testing a connection when it's working properly. Thanks for watching.